that, this is the next topic of OCR A-level chemistry, topic 8, group 2 metals. So it's quite a nice short topic, but it builds on a lot of the stuff that we've done in previous topics, so make sure you understand those first. It starts off by saying that all of the metals in group 2 have an S2 outer shell electron configuration. That means that the outer shell has got two electrons, both in an S orbital. When group 2 metals react, they make two plus ions, and so they have an oxidation number of two. As you go down the periodic table from magnesium down to barium, they get more and more reactive. The reason they get more reactive is because the first and second ionization energies decrease. It means it's easier to take the outer electrons from barium than it is magnesium. The reason for that is that in barium, the outer electrons are further from the nucleus, and there's more shielding from inner electrons, so the ionization energies decrease because the attraction between those outer electrons and the nucleus is less in barium than it is in magnesium. You also need to know what's produced when a group 2 metal oxide reacts with water, and that is a metal hydroxide. And you also need to know the relative solubilities of the group 2 metal hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide is the least soluble, and going down the group, barium hydroxide is the most soluble. And you need to know the impact that this increased solubility has on pH of these solutions. So they're all hydroxides, and so they're all alkaline. The more soluble it is, the more hydroxide goes into the solution, and the more alkaline the solution will become. So the highest pH of any of these is going to be barium hydroxide, and magnesium hydroxide will be the lowest pH. There's also a couple of uses of group 2 metal compounds that you need to know. Calcium hydroxide is used to neutralise acidic soils, and magnesium hydroxide and calcium carbonate are both used as an antacid, a chemical taken to neutralise excess stomach acid and treat indigestion. And I have to say that is all you need to know about group 2 metals. Hope you can join me in the next one for the halogens. Goodbye.